What is up, guys? This is your boy, Draven for Jingler. I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's been probably about uh, two or three months now. And I want to do it, but I, I can't do it. I know I'm not going to finish it because it's expired. And what I'm talking about right now, because I keep seeing this, I keep seeing giant gummy bear videos, giant gummy bear video, giant gummy bear, giant gummy bear, giant gummy bear videos. And I have a giant gummy bear. I have a giant gummy bear. I need to finish it. It's only, it's not even close to done. Let me, let me just grab it. Let me grab it. Hold up. Let me just grab it. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Let me get up. Let me grab it. Eh. My freaking dusty giant gummy bear. I was just playing some PS2, trying to take my mind off of it, playing some good old fashioned cars, watching some good old fashioned CSG, having some fun with that right there, you know, but I can't stop thinking about my giant gummy bear. It's not even that much left. Like, look at how much is left. It's just that much. If you can even see, the light is making it really hard. There's not that much left. I gotta finish it. I wasn't even the one to take the first bite out of it. It was some girl who just plays with dudes. And I think she might suck dick, maybe? Probably, she probably does suck dick. All I know is I got a, there was a dude from school. He, he was dressed up as Santa Claus and he gave me this giant gummy bear. I can say it was probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten as a food item. One of the best, other, other than that chicken feet that I got. I love chicken feet. So other than that, I got this giant gummy bear. I'm going to give it a bite. I give a nice big old bite out of it. Nice big old bite. You might be wondering how I'm holding my camera. Well, you see... I was doing experimental stuff, experimental tation of how to hold my camera. So I just rape, I rap. I just said rape, but I meant to say I just wrap the neck chain around my wrist. On my wrist, 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 wrap around my wrist, wrist, wrist. Oh my goodness, this looks nasty. This giant gummy bear was uh, not like how you see their gummy bears. It's not like theirs. It's more like... Mine's more like this. Let's see. It's, it's kind of like this. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Do you see this shit? <sighs> what have I done to myself? I should have ate this a long ass time ago. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Do you hear this? Like, seriously, man. I should have ate this a long ass time ago. It's just been sitting on my desk collecting dust, just taking shape, taking form. Anyway, the time is now. Uh, I got to take a bite out of it. The edges are really sharp, so it kind of hurt my hands a little bit. Let's see if I can focus on it there we go edges are kind of sharp it hurts my hand just a wee bit i'm not really a big fan of getting cut by a gummy bear i can guarantee it's not gonna be nice freaking hard ass gummy bear man it's a hard ass gummy bear i had a i took it to school i went to college for a little bit i took it to school with me the guy's like you should melt it down instead of instead of eating it. Then you can just drink it as a soup. I'm like, but that takes away the whole purpose of eating a giant gummy bear. You're supposed to eat it in the form that it currently is. You got to eat it in the form that it is or else it doesn't count. It's not a gummy bear anymore. It's a pile of melted candy. I'm going to take a bite. It smells really good, but it it's really hard. It's hard like a rock. Okay, it's hard. I got some rocks in here, matter of fact. Hold on. It's hard like a rock. 
piece broke off. How's the taste? How's the piece taste? Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, it's, it's coming off on my pillow. My lap pillow. It's hard as hell. Big ass bite. Uh-oh. 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 What the fuck is that? Oh, that's what that thing is. Well, I have my window open right now. I know I'm getting a little bit off topic. Every day at 3 o'clock in the morning, I hear a dog barking. And it is loud as shit. It is loud as hell. It's out there. I'm looking at it right now. It's taking a shit. I'm watching it take a shit. I can see it shitting from here. What am I, man? What am I? Anyway, uh, I try to take a bite. It, this is this is as far as I got. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna keep trying though. But ah, it hurts. But it's hard as hell. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm not going to finish this today. We're going to come back to this. Not today. It's hard as hell. It smells like dust. You know, what I didn't think about before that girl took a bite out of this gummy bear is if she sucked a dick before she did. If she did, then that means I did like a kiss to her mouth, which means if she sucked a dick, that means I sucked a dick, which is not good. I'm not gay. No homo. Uh, I eat this in the name of pure deliciousness. In case you have no idea what that means, I can tell you. Pure deliciousness! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Clevin. Happy birthday to me. I'm gonna eat all of these. I feel very happy. I got some honey buns. I am going to gorge myself tonight. I want honey buns. This is Draven, Draven Vajayla. Oh. Anyway, this is Draven Vajayla. I'm here with another vlog for you guys. We're just, we're just gonna go on head out. We're gonna head out to, we're gonna head out to, um, we are going to go see some Legos. I wanna take my grandmother with me, why not? Because going by myself will be a bit lonely. And I'm going to show you guys some amazing Lego builds. All right. Some Le 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 Lego builds. Uh, Lego builds. I don't know if you like Legos. But I sure like Legos. I don't like stepping on Legos. I have stepped on them. And it is not 
not comfortable at all. It's not comfortable in the slightest. Hey, we're about to go see some Legos. Lego. Bah! It's cold. Well, my hands are cold. This is mostly it. Yeah, the camera's fine. The camera should be just fine. I forgot them at home. I took them out of my pockets and just forgot about them. But I'll be fine without them. It's a nice area out here. It's a nice little area. It's a nice little place of St. Joe. All right, we got to go over to the side over here. Oh, this way. Yep, we got to go this way. Right now, I just look like a dark shadow with the light on my face. Right now. I gotta say, this is the first time I've been in here since um, since prom that they had at my school. Oh. So, it's been the first time in a long time. Yep, and that's about it. Oh. Alright. Okay. So inside this case, it says all that stuff. Did you expect that I would bring you here to a Lego place? Because <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to do. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Anything for you, you know. Mm -hmm. Better than nothing, that's true. Mm -hmm. A Lego Batman movie. Wow. Mm -hmm. Always be yourself, unless you can be Batman.
World Lego Fan Exposition. Mm -hmm. I almost said explosion. Exposition. Do it for me. Do it. Do it. Do it for the world. Come on, focus. Whatever. Blurry pictures. that are in my city right here. Yeah, yeah. These are some buildings. Of course, they don't look too similar based on what I'm seeing right now, but it's still really cool. Because you got the Decepticons over there. They're, they're, they're blasting people with magical spells and fighting wizards and robots that don't match in each other's time, but it doesn't matter because this is the world of Legos. My body aches to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high 
in the stands as usual the Hulk comes to every game we have every football game you got weird rock man down there I don't know what his name is and yeah that's about it let this be another night to tie around my bed at night I know I've lost the fight to erase your face, my mind Awake, I lie here staring up beyond the sky oh. 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 Oh.
how long did it take you to make this? To make which aspect? Um, uh, <laughs> to, mostly just like to to build the body of it, I'd say. Well, the, the that kit itself took me a day and a half to build. Mm. This one took me about almost three days. Wow. Mm. That was yeah, it was it was pretty impressive. Mm. Hmm. What kind of camera are you shooting with? Uh, Canon uh, TI5. I think it's like... T5i? Yeah, T5i. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I love that camera. Mm -hmm. This is for all you people that, 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 that don't know what this place looks like. This place is amazing. All right, this place is amazing. Come to St. Joe. Uh, we got places, we got things like this. We have souvenirs. We have all kinds of stuff. If you're looking for women, we got women. If you're looking for boys, we got boys. If you're looking for boys with tiny arms and fingers, we got boys with tiny arms and fingers. Come to St. Joe. No pedophiles allowed. In summer evening, when the sun has just set and the first stars are twinkling over Lake Michigan, and staying with your toes in the sands of Silver Beach, close your eyes and let your mind drift away. There, did you hear that? That wasn't the waves. That was the thunder of the roller coaster, the cotton. And there, wasn't that the words of organs playing waltzes, the merry go round the ring of the pinball machines in the pink arcade, the sinister laugh of the mom and the mirror games that you just heard? You're traveling back in time now. Take a deep breath. You can smell the cotton candy, the caramel corn, hot dogs, snow cones, and that wonderful agricultural zone of the water. In the fun house, you can go into the maze of dark tunnels, rumored that there were hidden doors, even a moving room called the mouse trap. Nothing was scary to the clown out in front of the mirror maze, sitting there all day, all night, rocking back and forth, his chest and shoulders heaving with that maniacal laughter. The mirror maze could be downright scary with your haunting images reflected back at you. There was nothing more exciting than that a dad would announce the family was going to Silver Beach. And it was Kitty's Day with all the rides and one low price. They had a perfect car and a big brick parking lot to stop on the beach. But what to do first? Buy your colorful paper tickets at each ride for a nickel and up. And the first ride you saw was the An outstanding roller coaster for its size. And there were plenty of other amusements, games of strength and skill, rifles that chuck corks at cardboard boxes, a fishing game with plastic fish moving by in a circular track called the corner. And if you didn't care to test your strength with the sledgehammer ring the bell game, there was always the penny arcade with an 150 point operated games, five pinball games per quarter, five balls in each game. Ah, the rockets, the ornate merry-go-round, the whip, the laugh in the dark spook ride, the loop of flame. There was the scooter, the bumper cars, which would surge powerfully around the big floor, their electric ceiling contacts crackling and showering bright sparks. The fun house had an elaborate entranceway dominated by the huge green head of a witch. Inside was the big two-lane slide, a gigantic three-story wooden affair, and you'd grab the little rug at the bottom, run up the long stairs at the top, and whoosh, down like a street. The pancake, a big wooden disc that spun. The sugar bowl, the big bowl with a padded lip. There were moving walks, difficult to walk on, and scary holes in the floor that would suddenly blast from fresh air at you without any more. And at the northwest corner of Silver Beach was Shadow. A big ball with a beautiful wooden dance floor. Many big bands played there. Wayne King, Lawrence Welk, Woody Herman, Kate Kaiser. Silver Beach was a kid's paradise. But paradise came to an end. The old amusement parks were running into trouble all over the country, and Silver Beach was not spared. Perhaps it was due to the new television phenomenon. Silver Beach had opened in the 1880s and remained popular through the first half of the 1960s. But crowds had started thinning out in the second half of that decade. Perhaps the park attendants dwindled because somebody got the idea of busing in loads of kids from Chicago and Gary for day outings. Some of the young tops among those kids made a lot of people afraid to go to Silver Beach. It was thought among many in the community that that was the demise of the park. The park did not open in 1972, and in 1974, the wrecking crews moved in, and it didn't take them long. By 1975, the old buildings were gone forever. Silver Beach became again what it was in 1880. Logan Drake, who was 17 at the time, bought it from the Indians and began building his amusement park. The beach itself, still popular, and on warm summer days, packed with people. It was a simpler time back then. 
We rarely felt bored when we were growing up here. The young people of today were born too late to enjoy the magical atmosphere of the rides and the games of Silver Beach. All right, now we're looking at stuff. Uh... Hmm? Oh my goodness, there's more Legos? Oh. Well, first things first, guys, uh, we're gonna do this creepy, deepy thing that we got going on right here. I've been living here for so long, I might as well do it. See what happens. I'm afraid, because she's kind of, she looked like she may have sucked some bad dicks in her time, so that's why.
the end. The end for a long time. It was cold. It's cold? It's cold. It's cold. Alright, it's cold. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. I'm just waving goodbye. Alright. Alright. Bye. Where's the microphone on this? Ray, 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 ray,